Well, I wish I hadn't done a top 10. I wish I'd just done a top three or five. I guess it's the lowest, right? This is the low 10. Uh, I do have a rule. These are stand-up comedians. Sometimes I do wonder, like, where's the line? And one, okay, so here's an example. Is Steven Crowder, does he qualify? Uh, because people tell me, well, he did start as a stand-up comedian. But I kind of think of him as a podcaster. That He did some stand-up comedy to kind of break into podcasting. But it's too many of uh, him doing a high-pitched and a low-pitched voice and then saying something that is kind of just a lame nothing. And then everybody does a forced laugh. That's why he didn't make the list. Someone else who didn't make the list for this reason, Tina Fey is terrible. But here, she's not on the list because Tina Fey is not a stand-up comedian. What are some of the standards? Well, it is commensurate with your fame levels. You know, so we're really talking about people being overrated. Uh, but it's not just being overrated. It's also their response to it. Like, uh, if you... Okay, here's another one. Patton Oswalt is far too overrated. I don't know what happened. People think that for some reason he was in, like, a sophisticated French independent film or something. But it was just a car one of those cartoons where he voiced a rat. Something went wrong and people mistakenly started attributing importance to him. I don't know, he's wearing black clothes and talking as if he's important. So Patton Oswald would be on the worst list for that. So not just overrated, but he thinks he deserves it. Uh, why didn't he make the list? Good question. You know, he probably should be on this list. Oh, another person that probably should be on this list. Andrew Santini. This fucker. He is one of the dullest. He's a zilch. He's a nut. He's an NPC. He is the non-playable character of comedy. Actually, he's another one that I don't know. Does anybody know if he's a stand-up comedian or is he just going to be on podcast 24 hours a day? So he's another one I almost think is like a podcast comedian. You know what another thing he's been doing is pretending to be a, a sniper. Like he's dressing like he's um, Chris Kyle, the sniper, or and he's behaving as if he was a military person. I think he used to be or started out as like, I'm a slacker. I'm a I'm a kooky uh, weed smoking slacking dude. And now I don't know why, for some reason, he's a fake uh, stolen valor comedian. Andrew uh, nothing. Santino is another one that could have been on this list, but it's not yet overrated. Okay, whoops, I just discovered there was a toxic uh, speaker hum, and hopefully that's fixed now. Uh, a few people recommended Amy Schumer. She probably could go on this list for being overrated. And by the way, she's followed a pattern that a whole bunch, I, I, I can't make a list off the top of my head, but she's following a pattern of a lot of these female comedians. And there's like Jane Fonda's and others before her. They start out as sluts, right? They are sort of like whores. Now in this modern version, what it is is it's pretty girls who were dating maybe the club manager then they get some of the men to write them disgusting jokes that men would write and then they say it right so then the the women come out and she likes to gobble cocks and a good night for her is you know red wine and black cocks and then she chugs cock and wine all night i don't really know if that's actually from her act but that would be something you'd hear that, oh, that's crazy. This girl talks about, you know, her uh, vagina being too big and all this. Yeah, so then after she does the jizz comedy written by these jizz comics, she gets attains a level of fame and becomes a fucking feminist now. She's something for women's rights or something. So that's a pretty shitty thing to do. Yeah, she could have been on here too. She just didn't make it. Now I'm going to skip back a little bit to the ones that are podcasters. I mentioned Crowder, uh, but 
Joe Rogan is another one where I go, you know what? He was a stand-up comedian, but I think that his fame came to him through like news radio, uh, comic acting, through Fear Factor and uh, the, the UFC stuff. Um, just to clear something up, Joe Rogan is not a fighter. He was not an original member of the UFC. You know, when he was a, when he was still a teenager, he went to the a local junior Taekwondo uh, round robin tournament. Okay, so enough with him pretending that he's a, a fucking professional kickboxer or now somehow he's deluded his idiot fans into believing that he was somehow like like as an original UFC fighter and he was hired to do that using the same thing that the W the wrestler pro wrestlers trick they do which is they hire their you know their, the interview guy is a little small guy it makes them look huge compared to the newly hired uh, media guy, which is the was the little tiny, the little tiny nerd character Joe Rogan. Okay, so enough with this. He was never in the UFC. He does. And by the way, Joe Rogan, I think you and I probably are about the same weight. We might even be closer to the same age category. And it still stands. I will definitely happily uh, have a fight with you for charity. And you can use all of your uh, taekwondo, taekwondo from when you were 19 years old and had a little round robin tournament. Oh yeah, Joe Rogan's not on this list because I really consider him something like a podcaster and an interviewer. He's a presenter, he's called TV presenter. Uh, but it is true that he did do stand up. Uh, a lot of it is pretty lame and involves him uh, effing a chair he likes to grab the stool and start humping on it so that's a lot of a stand-up comedy so it sucked he's a tv host and i'm just gonna consider that and that's why he didn't quite make it on there